Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Indie Book Review. I'm Quinn Buckland and today I am reviewing <laughs> The Mars One Incident by Kelly Curtis. Um, let's just begin. Let's, let's get into this. So, the story is about Alma, who is the youngest captain in the future setting that the book takes place in. I can't actually remember for the off the top of my head just what the place is called. It's the JC is the abbreviation. But anyway, she gets put on this mission to go and destroy this ship called the Dante. Well, it doesn't go quite as expected. She ends up boarding them and just uh, taking them prisoner. It puts her in a little bit of hot water and then she has to go do a whole other thing where she finally gets to the Mars One base and that's when things start going horribly wrong. All in all, I really didn't mind the plot. It definitely kept me interested. The world itself kept me interested. Um, there were some points where it seemed to veer off, and I know that like this is book one, so it's setting itself up for other books as well. It's setting itself up for a whole bunch of other things. But at the same time, there were just some points where I'm like, is this really necessary? Or is this scene really... Does this seem really necessary? And, well, kind of, yes. It did drag in, drag with those spots. I'm not going to say which spots, because what spots drug for me might not drag for some people, and, you know, vice versa. I'm just, I'm just saying some some spots drug for me a little. Um, so, all in all, I, I, I'm going to give Plot a 4 out of 5. Like, it did a really good job. It's just certain moments. Characters. The characters were all actually really, really well done. There wasn't at any point where I didn't believe in any character in what they were saying or doing there wasn't any suspension of disbelief in terms of these characters Alma is definitely very relatable and very likable she can be a, actually I can't even say she's really cocky she's just exceptionally confident she knows her abilities she knows who, who and what she is and she's not afraid to stick up for herself I love that um uh, Christopher definitely an interesting character uh Alia um, there's a, another girl with an A name. I think it's Alia. Maybe. She was definitely interesting in, in her own right, being the sort of anti-Alma. She didn't like her, but she was, but she came to respect her a bit by bit. Same as the rest of her crew, uh, Alma's family is, well, I'm not going to go as far as to say interesting, but they're definitely relatable. They're definitely the sort of people that I've gone through my life going, okay, yeah, I know people like that. So characters actually straight up get a five out of five. I like them. I definitely, I definitely got to know these characters pretty well. Writing, the writing was good. The writing was fine. I never, I, like, I didn't get lost at any point. I didn't have to go back and see what I was reading. Like I, there was just no, no point where. I, it's a five out of five. The writing gets a five out of five. Imagination and research. She does a very very good job with, with her imagination and research. The world in which she built actually kind of makes sense in its own way. Um, she goes into this whole world where the vast majority of people live fairly technology-free. Like, there's still little bits and pieces here, but no personal technologies. Like, there's no computers, there's no TV, there's no movies. You go to plays, you go see people sing, sing live. It's actually really interesting. And it goes into... A technology, like personal technology, making people antisocial and a little more irritable than than what they normally would, and it's it, it's fascinating. But then it goes in, but then she goes into with with other characters going into, well, you're pretty antisocial and you've gotten most and you, you you only really seem overly antisocial when you're not around your technology, like you use like you use it all all the time for work, but when you're home, you're antisocial. Hmm, maybe there's a little bit more to this than that. And it's like, that's actually really cool. And, yeah, the world itself is really interesting. Imagination Research is straight up 5 out of 5. I have absolutely zero problem with this. And now we get to the ending. This is the part where I've got some actual critiques. I mean, in order to do the actual critiques, like I'm going to have to do some spoilers and stuff like that. I'm going to try and be as spoiler-free as possible. 
one, but I'll, I'll do my best. So, Mars, the Mars One Incident is kind of an odd title, considering the Mars One base doesn't show up until three quarters of the way through the book. Like before, like the first half of the book is Alma getting her promotion and you know just exploring the world. Totally cool with that. And I think from there it probably should have gone straight on to the Mars One base. You know, and she does what what she does there. Uh, comes back, and then and then it goes back to the Mars One base afterward. Because uh, with her first mission, she goes to the Titan base, which is down, which was if I remember right, down by Saturn, to go find the Dante. Um, and then yeah, later on she goes to, to the Mars One base, and it's. One of those things where you, this is supposed to be the final climax, and I have absolutely no idea who most of these characters are. They've been there for a chapter or two, and then the incident happens, and it kind of just, it doesn't really fall flat on its face, but it just doesn't bring on an emotional reaction. And then after the incident, Alma goes back to Earth for for a trial because you know people die, and. A whole bunch of stuff happens, and it just kind of ends. There's not really much that goes on. So, I can't really give this ending a particularly good mark. But at the end, but like at the same time, it does end on a fairly real note. So, I, I'm going to give the ending a 3 out of 5. It definitely could have been much better, but it definitely could have been way worse. It could have fallen fell out on his face. I think the ending got what it needed to get at the point or at least how the book was written i think if the book was a little was longer like at least another um third longer and had us given a had us actually get a chance to know the mars one base a little bit it probably would have brought on a little bit more of a emotional reaction and it probably would have like let the weight of the decision that Alma's making sink in. Just that little bit more. Because, yeah. But that's just my thought on it. Uh, read the book for, for yourself. Maybe you disagree with me. But anyway. Yeah. Ending gets a 3 out of 5. But all in all, like the book gets an 8 out of 10 like it was a really good book I definitely enjoyed reading it and there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to continue on with this series as as you know I can but in any case that's about all I got for you guys for today I hope you all have a great day and see you later